the only ones I don't have. It's like social anxiety. Hey, hi, hello, hello, what's up? Guess what we're doing today? We're going to I'm so excited, you guys. Every time I go for a little Sephora run, my inner child is screaming. Before it was Barbies and now it's makeup. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me to go shopping for some self-care slash makeup at Sephora. We're gonna be looking at all the trendy TikTok viral makeup, skincare, all the good stuff, and I'm really excited. But I do wanna say a little thing before we run to Sephora. Last time i spent like 150 dollars at sephora and i got like literally five things and i think it's crazy how you can literally go to sephora and get four things and it will literally be a hundred dollars so today i'm gonna give myself a little budget my budget is gonna be a hundred dollars and i'm gonna see how many things i can get with a hundred dollars so if you want to go shopping at sephora you don't have to break the bank okay like if you have only a little bit like i'm gonna show you how to make the most of it there's amazing minis and things that you can try out before you you know get the full thing so i'm gonna be showing you guys everything that i get and i'm gonna let you know how much i spend which my budget is 100 so i'm not gonna go over that i will say a little disclaimer though i am a sephora employee so i do get a discount so let me show you my outfit this is my outfit literally so cute don't mind the mess in the back you guys already know me hello what do you expect these pants are so cute they got them from urban and this top is from princess polly the outfit is outfitting sorry i said that i'm gonna go now i got like this chocolate cookie crumble frap or something like that i have no idea but we're about to try it out and see. I always get a pink drink or something pumpkin, but. I wouldn't get it again. It literally tastes so watery. Like, I don't know, they just made it so watery. It tastes like chocolate water. I did get a burrito though, so hopefully that's good. Yeah, this is not good. Chocolate water is very accurate. Legit, like I think Nesquik tastes better than that. Yep. This is good. Does anybody else get anxiety when they come to Sephora? I feel like everyone's staring at me. My social anxiety is not cut out for this. I have a list though. I made a list of everything that I want. So that way I can just grab it and go. Okay, I want to get the Whey body cream. So let's go see where that is. social anxiety i just can't i actually wanted to get i don't know where it is it should be here it's like a little like oil for your eyes oh we're right here so this is for your under eyes i'm gonna end up getting this because my under eyes are so dry like drier than the sahara desert they have the goldy drops, you guys. They have one more left. Glow recipe. So I'm gonna get these because they are really good for blurring your skin and helping with oil. It has salicylic acid and tapioca, so it's really good. I actually never tried this for my dark it? circles. This is really, this is a really expensive skincare brand. I don't know if it works. Because my lips have been so extremely dry and I heard this is really good for your lips, so. I really want to get the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This one right here, the smaller one though, it's only $8.90. Hopefully this is not over a hundred. I feel like honestly this oil is forty dollars, so it might knock me off from a hundred. I don't know. Hopefully not. Yeah. I literally have from these. I have this one, this one, and this one. These two are the only ones I don't have. Oh, and this one, but I don't feel like I need another one. Like it's too much, you know. And I was debating on getting this one or the Tatcha one, but I heard that the Tatcha one is better, so I'm gonna go with the Tatcha one instead. Oh my gosh, guys. This is for my future purchase, but I really wanted to get this. Where is this? Not this. Is this vitamin C? I don't know. The vitamin C from Kiehl's, I heard is really, really good. 
This is the new one. I don't know, what do you think? They don't have it, unfortunately. They're sold out, so maybe next time we can get that. I was debating on getting this one too. This is like a little lip thingy or this one, the cherry one. But people said that it didn't, didn't really do much for them. So their, con their new concealers are still not out. So I can't try that. But I really wanted to try their House Labs new concealer. Also, this is so pretty, babe. Can I swatch this on you? My dark side. Okay, but you're like, it's not showing up on you. Maybe let me try. I really see it. Let me try this one. It's not even like showing that much. Okay, so I really, really want this eyeshadow right here. It's called Moon Dust, and it's literally so pretty. It looks so pretty though. It's like sparkly. Oh my god! Should I get it? It's for it's for your eyes, for your eyelids. But I don't know if I should get it. What do you think, guys? Should I get it or should I not get it? No. I don't know. It's up to you. Come on, babe. You're usually the one that makes me impulsively buy stuff. <laughs> They have the new, babe, they have the new foundations. I want to try this shade out. It's like a little bubblegum pink. Is that too much? Uh, um, it might be, yeah. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> that is literally... Guys, I am so tempted to get one of these concealers because when I tried these, this concealer, it was so freaking good. But I already have so many concealers, so I feel like I don't need it. And we have a budget, you guys. There are still some stuff that I have to get. I also really wanted to get this concealer as well. This is the NARS one because I've heard that it's really, really good. They have all the Givenchy powders and blushes. Look how pretty all of these blushes are, but I feel like I have so much blush already, I don't need it. But it's so pretty to look at. I know that this is blush, but I really wanted to try this like for lips because I heard it's like the perfect like pink nude. This is the shade Bliss. Um, I don't know though. What do you guys think? Is it good for lipstick? I feel like it might not be. I don't know. Should I get it? I don't even know if it's over my budget though. It's really hard shopping on a budget because you have to really limit what you get. And everything is so expensive. These concealers were a little too dry for my under eyes, so I had to return it. All right, babe, this is what I really, really, really want. Where is it? It's this shade right here. One of these. I really want in the future. Cough, cough. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, babe, please swatch this for me. I want to see how it looks. Oh. Oh. It's not really showing. Oh, it's giving nothing. This is probably definitely way more than a hundred. I feel like it might be over here because it's one of like the newer brands that aren't like super big yet. Do you see that on here, babe? Do you see anything that says oh wait, I think it's right here. Haha, -ha, I knew it. I'm such a Sephora employee. This is also why I don't ask anyone for help. Oh my gosh, this is so tempting. They have like a little mini. Okay, wait, I don't need it. I don't, I don't need it. Don't, I do need it. This is where they get you guys. In the minis and more, this is where they get you. They put everything they could possibly ever have wanted and they just showcase it to tempt you. Like, oh my gosh, maybe I do need this. It's only $14. No, you don't. No, you don't. You probably already have a lip gloss sitting there. <gasps> okay, this is actually something that I really wanted, but uh, I'm debating with between this one and the new Jizu hair oil that came out. Not this one. The one that's supposed to like hydrate your hair. I don't know. These, not it. I feel like every time I shop, I always tell myself, okay, do you have something similar to that? Yes. Do you use it? Not really. So why do you need another one? I may or may not have gone over my budget. 
all right guys i am back home and i am gonna do a little haul for you guys really quickly there are some stuff that i did not get at the store that i previously got a couple days ago so that's why I, like i was trying to really hold myself off from getting more stuff but let me just show you guys what i got okay so starting off with this patrick top blush guys when i tell you this blush is literally the only blush that i would choose over all the blushes that i own i'm not even kidding this is the only blush that i feel like i would die for like this blush is amazing <laughs> i swear if you don't have any blush right now i don't see why you wouldn't but if you want to get one blush that's a little pricey choose this one this is in the shade she's blushing guys are you kidding me do you see that shade do you, do you see that shade it's like the perfect dusty rose and it looks so natural and you just look like you're blushing from within the creaminess of the blush and the texture of the powder is just so soft and airbrushed then i got two concealers i told you guys i am obsessed with concealers so this is actually from ulta Sephora. This is the live tinted concealer. It's a serum concealer and when I saw it I was like, okay Yeah, I need that because you guys know how dry my under eyes are So I ended up getting this one and it says it has the If I'm pronouncing that right Niacinamide and hyaluronic acid which is supposed to hydrate your under eyes and niacinamide is supposed to brighten over time So I tried this out and it was amazing. Then I got the Lancome taint idol all over concealer this concealer, I'm wearing it today, and it's absolutely wonderful. You know what I remembered? I forgot that I didn't put mascara on. I was like, what's something? Like, there's something off about my face. Girl. Anyway, this concealer is absolutely amazing, and Sephora had it for, like, 50% off. So, girl, I had to snag this. And then in this big bag, you guys saw me. I got... This is why I was like, you know what? I went over my budget, but... This is actually for my sister. She wanted me to get her this. So this is technically not for me. I already have one. So this is for her. She got the strawberry BHA pore smooth blur drops because I recommended it to her. I told her it was so freaking good and she needs it. And I also got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm so excited to use this. I remember I used it like two years ago and it was so amazing. I don't know why I stopped using it, but then the most exciting thing that I was looking forward to is this Whey Body Cream. It smells absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. It smells so good. It's so luxurious, so creamy, so moisturizing. Oh, I love it. Then I got this Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub because I got it as a sample and I absolutely fell in love with it. It removes all your dead skin cells. Like, literally, you just rub it on your face and, like, you literally see it come off. Like, amazing. And I got the mini because the bigger size is a little more pricey. And then I got this Cora noni radiant eye oil eye oil this was 30 dollars which is why i told you guys i knew i was gonna go over budget with this because she's pricey for this little thing this better transform my under eyes and make me look like i'm 12. next i got this refi skin finish water-based powder i have dry under eyes okay my under eyes are drier than the freaking texas desert okay so i needed to get something that was going to bring some moisture into my under eyes i use the huda beauty powder and i feel like it dries me out a little bit it's still good but it has talc so i wanted to switch this over to this this does not have talc so i'm excited i'm excited she better work and then last but certainly not least is my Tatcha the Kisu lip mask. It's a Japanese peach lip jelly. Actually, I want to try some on right now. <gasps> Wait. I don't know if somebody used it. I don't know. I don't feel like my lips feel like... <gasps> but I might have to keep using it. Like over time. I don't think I put it, I don't think I put a lot. Hmm. They feel nice. It doesn't feel sticky. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll wait and see. This is supposed to smooth and plump your lips. But anyway, that was it for my Sephora haul. And I spent a little way too much. But 
I hope you guys are able to get some recommendations on what to get when you go shop at Sephora. All of these things were so amazing and they were things that I already didn't own. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me to shop at Sephora. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love shopping at Sephora because I swear all my paycheck goes to Sephora. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you guys, so you can keep seeing more of my videos and go follow me on all my social media. It will be linked in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. God bless you. God loves you. Show love. Bye. Mm -hmm.